हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू द चैनल एके गार्डनिंग पैशन फ्रेंड्स बिफोर स्टार्टिंग द वीडियो डू सब्सक्राइब द चैनल एंड डोंट फॉरगेट टू प्रेस द बेल आइकॉन फ्रेंड्स टुडे आई विल टॉक अबाउट द प्लांट रोसेलिया दिस प्लांट इज कॉल्ड बाय मेनी नेम्स लाइक फायर क्रैकर प्लांट कैस्केड प्लांट कोरल प्लांट फाउंटेन ग्रास रेड फायर फर्न फ्रेंड्स as you look in this video that the plant is flowering plant and gives look like the waterfall friends this is hardy plant which is grown in many gardens rock gardens etc the plant reaches 4 to 6 feet of height when planted in land or in huge containers friends the plant is available in two colors that is vibrant red or we can call it as orange red color and milky white color the shape of the flower is tubular which attracts humming birds the plant looks wiry and thready and the leaves are very small the new branches of the plant looks brown red in color and all branches turn to dark green in color as you look in this video you can understand the difference between the young branches and the old branches friends as this plant produces only flowers and no fruits so the propagation of this plant is done by cuttings and layering the plant is perennial plant which blooms whole year but blooms a lot in the summer season so friends as you know this season is summer season so it is full on bloom friends the soil required for planting the plant in container is 30% of garden soil 30% of coco peat 30% of vermicompost and 10% of sand friends the soil should be well drained soil and the container should have good draining system i have planted these plants since last one year as you see in this video that i have planted in the containers and i have kept these containers on parapet in my terrace garden which gives a very beautiful look to my terrace garden as this is the season of the rosalia the flowers are full on the bloom the propagation of the plant is done by cut, cutting the plant stems and planting it in soil do this preferably in the rainy season friends the second way of propagation is layering that is the stem part or a tip part is covered with soil this plant loves summer season then winter friends if you are living in warm areas then this plant will bloom many times in a year but the plant doesn't tolerate the frosty climate light requirements for this plant is full sun it will not flower to full extent in shade areas so this plant is not indoor plant friends we'll see the fertilizer requirement for this plant friends this plant like to feed with fertilizers i fertilize them every 2 months you can feed them with vermicompost and cow dung manure and occasionally you can make a spray of npk water requirements water the plant thoroughly and do second water after the layer of the soil becomes dry but in summer season water requirements are more so friends water them after 1 to 2 days maintenance of this plant as such there is no much maintenance required the only need is to remove old and dead parts of the plant and do soft pruning after the bloom 
close till I get up Time is barely on our side I don't wanna waste what's left The storms which Friends, as there is no leaf fall, the area around it remains clean There are no any diseases for this plant So, for the cultivation of this plant Tips for the dense growth and heavy bloom do layering of plant in the pot itself fertilize plant every two to three months with cow dung manure or compost don't forget to fertilize them before the early spring keep them in full sun area so friends add this plant in your gardens or terrace gardens you can keep them on your compound wall or make the hanging baskets which will give very beautiful look like the cascade or or keep them on terrace paraffet as i have kept if you want to plant it in the land then plant them side by the lawn it is a best area which will add on the pop up colors of orange red color to your gardens friends watch subscribe share and comment on the videos and give your feedbacks friends thanks for watching keep watching for more upcoming interesting videos thank you